German car makers Volkswagen are expected to announce a new head later after the resignation of the chief executive over this unfolding emission scandal we've been seeing day after day yeah, after day, haven't we, this week? Yeah, the front pages of all the newspapers again this morning. It's thought as many as 11 million cars worldwide are affected, with 1.6 and 2-litre engine Volkswagen cars believed to have been fitted with emission rigging devices. And Volkswagen has recorded nearly half a million cars in America already. However, it's not currently known how many British cars are affected. Well, motoring expert Quentin Wilson joins us this morning. Morning, Quentin. Morning. Uh, so, what's your take on this situation? Well, uh, VW were completely insane to do this, and it's absolutely unpardonable. But there's a wider accountability here with governments, regulators and um, legislators allowing this completely imperfect system of testing cars to go on for so long. We know you don't get anything like the economy figures, the official figures tell us. Um, we see these black clouds of soot coming out of the diesel cars and vans and buses. So we kind of know this isn't working. The big mm. problem for me is that governments told us to change to diesel. Yeah. Gordon Brown reduced the duty on labour to sulphur diesel in 2001, so 50% of all the cars in the UK were changed to diesel because we were told it was the right thing to do. And nobody talked about the health risks. They were obsessed with CO2. Now that's coming to be a huge, huge health hazard. And we haven't investigated into diesel how bad it is for us. It could be causing these high rates of cancer. So there's a government policy, there's a government accountability all across Europe for this. And what about Volkswagen, though, as well? Surely they have an accountability because there, are, there will be. And I, and I know that there's a sense of opportunism here for, for various people around the world who have been looking at this, thinking, well, hold on, maybe I can get a little bit of compensation, maybe I could change my car. But Volkswagen deliberately misled Completely. all of their customers. And, and, and it did they deliberately? Are we clear yeah. with that, though? Because yeah. I'm still confused whether it was, you know, they just... But they did deliberately they tried to trick everyone. So that if the car knew it was on a rolling road because the steering wheel wasn't moved, it actually lowered the emissions. And the rolling road is where they test yeah. the emissions. And, right? and this is the whole point. Uh, this test should be real world driving emissions, yeah. not on a rolling road, which is why the figures will bear no relation to, to the, the whole thing. For owners of VWs, I would say this do not panic. It's not going to affect your residual, your second hand values. Your VW is going to be no less safe or less reliable. And when I hear of all these lawyers ganging around saying we're going we're gonna to sue because action, yeah. I, I thought I was buying a green car, only 2% of people in the UK buy a car on emissions. So don't get out of control, mm. everybody. Just calm down and don't panic. So why if they could, if on a rolling road, it would lower the emissions, why couldn't they just do that for the whole time? Do you know what I mean? It's not lowering emissions, though. The device made it seem like the emissions yeah. were lower. So the device that they fitted, a bit of software, yeah. meant that the engine then was telling the instruments that were being tested that actually there's not as many emissions and coming out. If you, if you did that, so it worked on, on the road all the time, the car would be slower, it would be much, ah, much, much why. less responsive. Right. So the whole okay. test allows the car to be driven really, really, really slowly and gently and, right. and special oil, special tiles. Is it just Volkswagen, Quentin, that's done this? Um, I, I don't think there's another car manufacturer has, that's got a defeat, defeat device touch wood. Um, and I'd be very, very alarmed if there's somebody else who's done it. I think we're going to find that the figures just bear no relation to real-world driving. And that's a fact. In, in the motor and journalist industry, we've known this for years. The car industry knows it. Government ministers have known it. EU knows it. So stop the moral outrage, fix it, and concentrate on the most important thing about all this, which is health, air quality and diesel. OK.